guys, John here for Balo Marine and today I'm going to be working on this little beauty. So this is the outboard that I've got for my inflatable dinghy. Uh, it's a 2.5 horsepower Mariner, two stroke, yeah, old motor, very reliable normally, uh, or at least it used to be. So this actually used to push the red back around when, uh, before I got it. Um, when the other motors weren't working, this one was always reliable. However, when I put it on the inflatable dinghy, it could idle. It, as soon as you turn the revs up, that's it. It cuts out. So we're going to be pulling it apart a little bit to work out what's wrong with it. And because I'm not great with motors, I've brought in an expert. So, that's you. But I'm no expert. Then what are you doing here? I'm just on holiday. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this is my cousin Sarah. Mm -hmm. She's going to be helping me with the uh, the videos over the next couple of weeks. She's a fantastic photographer. So now we're going to see how that translates to videos as well. Or transfers over to videos. Um, so... How about we get stuck into this motor and see if we can work out what's wrong with it? Let's do this. All right, let's take the cowling off. Now, a bit of background actually, because I have an idea of what's wrong with it. I filled it up with fuel the other day and I had idling. If I pumped the throttle up a little bit, it would rev and then die. That tells me there's no fuel getting to it. Spark plug, perfect. Checked it, don't need to change it because it looks like it's brand new. Someone's changed it before I got this motor. So, and it hasn't been used. Um, so I actually got this motor off one of my father's friends, um, but it used to be part of the Redback and it's got passed around a few hands. I'm not sure of the full story, but it's been around for a long, long time and it never really got used. It was always just the backup plan. So, when I filled it up with fuel, tank was full. Now, tank is empty. And I'll bring you in. I can see a lot of gunk in that water. That's fuel. So, to me, that means there's something wrong with the fuel tank or there's something wrong, wrong with the fuel line. So we've basically got a tank here, fuel line, fuel switch, and then the fuel line comes around here and into the carburetor. Hoping it's not the carburetor, don't feel like pulling it apart. So, I'm gonna take this tank off, and then we'll see what's going on there. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay guys, so I've undone the fuel tank. Should just be able to lift this out. A little bit of effort. Take those washers out. Don't want to lose them. And now I should be able to twist this off and what's that part, John? That's the broken part. Oh. Oh. That doesn't look good. That almost looks like someone's tried to repair that. So, I've got a split in the fuel hose. And it looks like it's got some sort of glue in here as well. So, that would be the culprit. So I've got to get that off. Mm. This is getting more interesting. So that's the piece. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in. The camera's not liking me today. 
There we go. So that's the piece that was on there. Looks like someone's tried to do a repair job on it. I may have to do the same while I order the part for it. Not sure. Let me have a think about it and pull the rest of this apart and see what's going on. Okay guys, we've just gone down to the shop. I can't get this fuel tap. So, I'm going to order one. But, I want to be able to take this motor out in the meantime. So what I'm going to do is because the last person, or one of the last people that had this motor, I don't know when it happened, they tried to fix this fuel tap and they epoxied a piece of copper onto the top, like so. Oh, goes around like that. Now, they've cut part of the fuel tank off. So I'm going to have to dodge it up a little bit, get it running, and then I can get the new fuel tap, probably a new rubber for the bottom of the fuel tank. And I have to order a few parts, but I want to get this running today. So I'm going to get this hose connector. It's going to be epoxied into the bottom of the fuel tank. And then it'll feed fuel in there the whole time. I just won't have much fuel in there and that way I can tip it out when I'm not using it. Bob's your auntie. So, I'll epoxy this in and I'll show you what's going on. Okay guys, so that is epoxied in, now to just let that dry and then we'll start putting it back together and we'll test it out, see if she runs, hopefully that's all it needed. Okay guys, so that's the fuel tank back in place. Now to fill her up and see how she goes. Now this fuel's already pre-mixed. So that tank's about half full at the moment. I don't want it too full, because again, I can't turn the fuel off. And no good, we've got a leak. Bad leak. Okay guys, so I've just redone the epoxy on here because I think I went a little bit early uh, so what we're going to do we're going to put it back together now fill her up 
and hopefully we won't have that fuel leak again. Seems pretty solid. I can wiggle it around. So hopefully that's going to be fine. And this is only a temporary measure until I get the, uh, the part that I've ordered. So this time I'm not going to screw it down beforehand, just in case I have to take it off and do all sorts of things with it. So now that Sarah's got it zoomed in for me, I'm just going to put it back on and we'll see how it goes. See if it holds any fuel. it on there, get the clip on. That clip doesn't seem to be doing a hell of a lot. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm just going to pour a little bit of fuel in there. Again, the fuel is already mixed. So we've put it back together now, I've put the cowling back on just to try and cover up some of the noise because it is quite a noisy motor. So to show, see how it went, I've also, I forgot to say, I've put mechanic in a bottle in this just to clean out the carburetor because it has been a while since it ran, or ran properly, so it might just help, it might not, I don't know, I've never tried the stuff before. but. I thought I'd give it a go. So, to prove how easy it is to start now that the uh, the fuel issues are fixed, I'll get Sarah to give it a pull. Turn the choke off. Idling fine. Gotta love a smoky old two stroke. So that's it for this video. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Or do all sorts of things because John really likes it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Have a good one.